they had to actually take my son at 26 and a half weeks mm. um, to oh. keep me and him alive. Right. They had to take him early. So he was born weighing one pound, 10 ounces. That's right, we're on live. We're gonna get this thing done one way or another. What's up to y'all? Um, I came in contact with a life-threatening illness called TTP. No one knows to this day how I got it. No, we don't know. Um, but the challenges that I faced during that time, just the severity of it as to how it literally almost took my life. Um, and every time I spoke with people, because I just felt that it was placed that I should tell somebody, <laughs> they would say, you should write a book. Okay. You should write a book. <laughs> But before we go into your, your book, tell what what uh what what are those acronyms stand for? TTP, I can't tell you. I'm so sorry. Okay. It's uh hormonal something. I cannot okay. tell you what exactly. Let, let, let's do this. For. Uh, do you mind sharing it with us? What it causes or what what how does it affect you? Sure. It it is a rare blood disorder. Mm -hmm. Uh, it's in the cancer family. Mm. Um, women are more susceptible to it and um, women will get it most likely if they are to have it during childbirth uh, so that is uh, yeah and it's it's just that rare that once I was admitted no one knew what I had it took them a while to be di for me to be diagnosed um, all the while, while I'm still trying to fight. And what it, it was, it was killing my blood. It was killing the plasma in my body. Um, it was literally, my body was fighting against each other, fighting against me. Um, there was no plasma getting, being dispersed throughout my body. So therefore there was no oxygen getting to my brain. Oh, so, so yeah. So, wait. um, that's, that, that's how serious it was. Um, to show you, I, I mean, I, I talk about it in the book, but I don't mind sharing it, but just to give you a tidbit of it, I went to an urgent care. I went to an urgent care and I uh, wanted to know if something was wrong with me. At, well, trying to find out if something was wrong with me. The doctor did not pick up on it. They sent me home. They, they did not know. They, they sent me home and yeah, and it was, my intuition my gut feeling um that sunday that i go back to the house not to the urgent care but to a hospital this time because i knew something was wrong and it was not what they projected it to be they said i had acid reflux that was not no acid reflux mm. um literally my chest was caving in mm. uh i was about to faint uh the, it's just a whole whole thing yeah it because again there was no oxygen flowing through my body so my body was literally deplete being depleted of everything and by god's grace i got to the hospital just in time because overnight my blood platelet level dropped to ten thousand. and you can look this up in Google wherever mm. you're supposed to have at least 150 to 400,000 blood platelets traveling through your body. At that time, I only had 10. Wow. Right. 10,000. So, good. yeah. So, um, what, I mean, what have, have they given you something for it to, to combat this or what, what's happening now? Um, so, what's happening now be, is in remission. I'm in remission. Uh, I get year. I started out with six month checkups. Now I get yearly checkups. I get my blood platelets checked to make sure that they're on count on Paul. You know where they're supposed to be. Mm -hmm. That it has not come back and where it's not attacking my body again. Um, and when I was in the hospital, the treatment that I received for this was chemotherapy, plasmapheresis, and steroid treatment—a combination of all three to fight 
what was what was going on with me. Um, the plasma paresis is literally where I had a port and they're taking the blood, the bad platelets out of me, sucking the blood, bad platelets out of my body, replacing it with good platelets. I actually depleted the blood bank while I was in the hospital. Wow. Okay. <laughs> so, <laughs> so are you, are you feeling better now after all this, or are you still have any relapses? I know you said that it's in remission, but just you. I haven't. Any effects um, of it? I haven't had any episodes. Yeah. The latest episode was back in 2000, 2010 mm. Was when I had my son. I have a ten year old now. So he was born in 2010, and uh, the thing about that was that yeah, my blood my blood platelet level again because uh, as I explained, women more are more susceptible to this, and I was giving birth, um, so they had to actually take my son at 26 and a half weeks mm. um, to keep me and him alive. Right. They had to take him early, so he was born weighing one pound. 10 ounces and he's 10 and up and running around oh, now okay. but yeah, God but yeah cool. it was just it was just one of those things but that was the last episode of my blood platelet level dropping mm -hmm. it's been in remission ever since but due to the fact of the steroid treatment that i received mm -hmm. um it it decayed my bones in my hip mm -hmm. okay. so um there's decay there and there was two in on both hips mm. and they actually want me to do a um, hip replacement but uh you know they're supposedly to last only 10 years so i'm just fighting that as long as i can because you know the i'm, I'm tired of a hospital ethic. <laughs> i know that's right i know that's right but you still you still sound you sound like you're in good spirits and everything that's that's that's, that's a plus oh i take it all in good spirit because it's one of those things it's like hey it beats the alternative oh, which was death yeah, so i'm still here and i'm gonna take it all in stride and i'm gonna i'm gonna laugh through all the pain i'm gonna just go with it and roll. I love, I love like, your energy. I love your positive energy.